homemade cage that I'm keeping my seven hermit crabs in. Um, there's a lot wrong with it, but there's a lot of things that are better than most people. So to start off, um, I guess the first and foremost thing is most people don't give their um, pets calcium supplements. So this is literally a cuddle bone that you find in like the bird aisle. Um, I guess the second biggest complaint is people aren't giving their hermit crabs fresh water and salt water. You have to give them a mix. Um, another big thing is people aren't using the correct bedding. They're using either sand or rocks and you need coconut husk. And something that I am changing about mine is you need to make it deep enough so that they can burrow. Um, another thing is that you should always have enough shells for them and they shouldn't be painted. Now the one we're focusing on right now, Spike, is my only painted hermit crab and he just won't change. Um, a third thing, I don't even know if it's third, I don't even know what we're on, but you should always mist down your hermit crab enclosure. Most people don't know that hermit crabs actually do have gills. So you need to be missing it down with dechlorinated water, which is basically water that sits overnight so that the chlorine evaporates. Now, another thing that people don't do and realize is that they, which like myself I'm changing, should have an actual tank that can hold heat, which means you should have a heat pad. And then that's basically it for information that people don't know besides the fact that people don't know that hermit crabs um, should not be alone. They should be at least in pairs. And the biggest thing to make known to people watching this video is that hermit crabs do not reproduce in captivity. They only are wild breeders. So you shouldn't necessarily support the hermit crab trade because if we keep putting them in these harmful conditions where they're forced to live in these tiny cages in these painted shells they're going to become extinct and it's just not right for us to be doing this but if you do have one hermit crab, I do encourage you to go get a second. So I bought these hermit crabs. I've had hermit crabs since fifth grade. And keep in mind, I'm in 11th grade now. So what, six years I've had hermit crabs. And I have definitely upgraded how I keep them. But today we're going to upgrade even more. And this is kind of me showing that you're not going to get scolded if you're not raising your pets right, but you should always be willing to change what you're doing. And I realize that it is really expensive. So if you do one thing at a time, it's going to add up in price, but it's going to add up in years that your pets are going to live as well. So let's just get right into this video okay, so first to start off with my enclosure i got a um aquion glass aquarium 20 gallon long which we're going to be using in this case as a terrarium it came with this like save 35 dollar thing i don't really know if i'm going to use it but i could use it for my fish tank then it comes with um, some water conditioner, tropical fish flakes, like a $2 off coupon or something. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to be able to use it. And it's a lot cheaper than buying an actual terrarium and then having all the extra stuff that you don't really use with Hermit. The rest of my products are from Zoomed. This is a cork round that they're going to love to climb inside of. So that was definitely probably my favorite thing of the day. I got some of this Eco Earth, which I know many YouTubers love it. It's coconut fibers. Right now I'm using coconut husks. Um, so this is what we're gonna use. You like, ouch. Soak it in water and it expands. 
And then we have some Repsy Bark um, from Zuma as well that we're going to put for some added texture. And then we have our heat pad that we're going to put on the side of the pad, on the side of the aquarium. And it is for a 20 gallon tank. And then I will be using shawls that I already have and I will be ordering some extras. And then saving the water bowls that I currently have as well. And yeah, so let's just begin soaking this. Alrighty. So the pack that I had was a three brick pack. So one brick expands to, I believe it said eight liters. So you put four quarts of water and let it sit for half an hour. So we will be back in half an hour. And in the meantime, we're gonna set up the rest of the tag. Hey y'all, so I cut the tag off of our wood and I took everything out of this glass aquarium. Now the cardboard that was wrapping it, I cut off the ends so that it will perfectly lay flat across the top to use as kind of a lid because the hermit crabs won't be able to climb out, but I don't wanna have it open just for safety precautions i guess so the cardboard isn't gonna act as like a sturdy lid it's just gonna act as something to keep it kind of dark in there for the hermit crabs and yeah what it looks like uh i'm gonna decorate it obviously i'm not gonna keep it like this but if i just set it on and i can set something on top of it like it's sturdy to push down so I'm probably gonna decorate it somehow, whether I just use like duct tape or glue some stuff to it so it's not totally boring. But yeah, I think it'll be um, suitable as a lid. And now we're gonna set up the tank heater, um, check in on the Eco Earth. It's been in there for about, I don't know what I'd say, 15 minutes, so half the time. And it seems the water like soaked up. So I don't know if I should add more or just let it go. I guess we'll see at the end. We can always moisten it later with our spray bottle. I don't know, it just kind of looks dry. So let's set up the okay, heat. So basically reading this, um, it's just saying that this is a heater for, you know, amphibians, reptiles, small animals. Um, use this only for terrariums, not for like aquariums with like water in them. Um, you basically stick it to the underside of your terrarium, but we're going to be sitting it on the back side because underside would be too much heat. And it gives you the little rubber foot, little rubber foots, little rubber feet to put under the tank. But since we aren't putting it on the bottom, we're not going to use those. We're just going to save those. Um... Do not use on wood, plastic. And then it gives us our temperature for hermit crabs. So let's do that right away. Alrighty, so just to be clear, I will be getting a glass lid. Um, I really didn't make that clear whenever I said I was putting the cardboard on top of it. Um, I'm gonna be getting a glass lid obviously on top. And then also um, in the instruction booklet, it does give a uh, thing for side mounting if um, you can't mount it on the bottom for certain reasons, for certain animals that burrow, such as hermit crabs. So we are going to mount this to the side. So here are the little feet that you can put on the bottom, but we're just going to save those. Then I'm going to use them and then you um, peel this back. And we're going to attach it to the back of the aquarium. Okay, guys. So, I have my tank where I want it. And I have my heater placed on the side. And I have it plugged in. So, now we're going to add our eco-earth that has been sitting for about 35 minutes. Alrighty, you guys. So, I've added my damp eco-earth. And I kept uh, maybe one third of it clear of stuff because this is where we're going to be adding our food dish and stuff and then we can fill 
the substrate in around it. So that is what we're going to be doing right now. Food dish, water dish, salt water dish, and calcium dish. And then we will be adding a little bit of this rep debark to kind of give some texture and texture and added depth. Um, I'm not very good with like inches and everything, but this is at least probably like three or four inches. <laughs> I'm not very good with my measurements, but it's thick enough that I know they're going to be able to burrow. So it gets deeper as you go in the corner. There's our heat pad, so if they want to heat, they can be on this side more, this side, kind of in the middle for less heat and food and water. And then we're going to put our bark in here and our shells. And then, of course, our hermit crabs. So, yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, okay, you guys. So this is the front look. We have our calcium, some salt water, um, some regular hermit crab food, some fresh water that was dechlorinated, eco earth, a little bit of bark, our log, some shells, some this shell right here and that shell back there are actually like shells that we got from the beach and obviously just soaked them and everything. Um, a little bit of a log. We misted everything down, um, our heat lamp, or not heat lamp, heat mat, we feel is working. I'm just so excited. We're gonna put them in. So let's do a quick before and after shot. And then let's look at it from this side. Um, before and after shot, and then we will put them in. Oh my goodness, so excited. So before four they had no digging room whatsoever um they had climbing room but not a lot of heat um literally look how deep this bedding was like not to my nail like not deep at all they couldn't even burrow so we are so excited Ha! Huh, this is little spongy ha huh? gliss um, Mr. Crab's up top, Yoanis is in the corner, Spike is the color, this is crab apple, and this baby right here is turtle. So they're like, what the heck is going on? It's getting dark, it's like 9.30. We're gonna put them in and hopefully they're gonna be really active. Huh, a little sponge. All right, so before and after. <laughs> I don't wanna be you. I just wanna be me. I don't wanna be cool. I just wanna be me. Be me. You don't wanna be cool. Be cool. So you just wanna be me. I don't wanna be cool, I don't wanna be cool, I don't wanna be cool. I, I don't wanna be cool. I don't like being cool. I don't wanna be cool. I ain't tryna be cool. What's it like being cool? I just can't stay cool. I don't wanna be cool. I don't want you to be me. You should just be you uh Okay, I grew up without a chauffeur Man, I'm talking straight out the dirt and so fur Only birds in my city is vultures I mean, back before I could afford a faux fur I was off in that debt, me and my mama Hand-me-downs was the only time I got designer, man Only class I'm passing is English and math I don't know, maybe cause they both got commas Maybe cause my older bro was on the honor roll And the other one was always up in front of the honor So I'm in the middle like the line in the divide signs Spending all my money on girls and Sean John Way before anybody called me Sean Don I was dropping 50s, man, I look like 50 Rockin' Pink polos, man, shit ain't even fit me Looking for the inspiration, that's already in me All the confidence, I was trying to buy myself If you don't like me, fuck it, I be by myself Spend all this time for you to say I'm fine I really should've spent it trying to find myself What up? It's good with just me 
I'm goofy in me. Ah, I wanna be cool. I wanna be okay, you guys. So I finally got the um, thermometer and hydrometer. So we're gonna set those up. You're supposed to put them in the middle of the tank, not by food and water bowls, not by heating source. So we're just gonna put them back here. Um, you just peel the backing off. So we are gonna do that. And then I will let you guys know the proper temperature and humidity and kind of how to adjust them accordingly. And then we will put the lid on that we finally got. So they have moved stuff around a lot and they're all burrowed under. They're so happy to have this. There he is. They're so happy to have this um, substrate that they can finally bury in. Okay, so now I have these gauges in and once I get the lid on and everything, we will start to read them. Okay, so for the lid, I have the Aquion double LED full hood, 30 inches, which they have a chart in at Petco and it says that 30 inches is for the 20 gallon long aquarium. Um, has an LED lamp, nighttime mode, hinged access, two LED lamps. You know, hermit crabs don't really need a heating lamp or a night light, but this is just cool for viewing if you're gonna have people looking at your tank, um, to just kind of have it on for the sake of viewing. So it was about $60, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna put this on and then I will show you what it all looks like when it's finally done. Okay, you guys, so how flippin' cool. So we've got our hydrometers in, our thermometers in, um, heat pads up and running. We got our cuddle bone, our food, our fresh declonated water, our salt water, this super cool thing. There's a light switch back here. It's really dark, you can't see, but there's a light switch. I just think it's so cool that I'm gonna shut my light off. It's still daytime, so you may not be able to see it. But I think it's gonna look so cool. There's my little candle and that's my telephone. But I think this is gonna look so stinking cool. So this is it, it's obviously still daytime. But I shut my light off. I have a little visitor coming to explore. I'm gonna turn the light off. Um, I really don't want to confuse them um, with this light any longer, but um, I'm only going to use it for viewing purposes. Bye bye. <laughs> so it has been maybe four or five hours. It's getting nice and steamed up in there. So the adequate temperature. Um, for a hermit crab, it is between 75 and 83 degrees according to the heating pad instructions. And we're setting at about um, 76, so we're right in that zone. And according to another online website, um, the humidity should be in between um, 70 some and 90, and we're sitting right at like 84 so we're just right in the perfect zones um if you're a little too hot um add more ventilation if it's not hot enough maybe get a heating lamp or add another small heat pad um for humidity um if it is too wet consider downsizing on the amount of water you're spritzing um maybe use a less water um holding substance substrate such as more repti bark um rather than eco earth because it really holds the moisture in um if you want to increase the moisture like i said spritz it more have a bigger water dish um, have leaves in the sanctuary that will hold 
um, have more sponges. There's just a lot of different things you can do to fluctuate. So, yeah, I'm thinking this is super cool. And definitely, um, yeah, I just love it. I love how cool it looks in the nighttime with that nighttime mode. It's definitely going to help them um, at nighttime. I think they'll definitely like it, but definitely not um, a lot of time because I don't want it to mess with kind of their nocturnalism. I know it is a night light, but I'm just not sure they're quite used to it. So, yeah, that's that about kind of temperature and humidity and where it should be and how to change it. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my Hermit Crab Tank um, upgrade video. I hope you all enjoyed because I know that the Hermit Crabs did. So stay tuned for next week's video, whatever it may be. Who knows?